Why are you so bored? Huh? Why are you bored? Hello, why are you bored? Is this thing on? Get tanned, I, I guess? Hello. I hear you. I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can? Yes. <laughs> but I saved, so I should be. <sighs> Read. I'm so mad right now. But I saved the game. It should have saved me angry because this damn game didn't save. I'm not confirming nor denying that. Did you have that? Ah! I saved the game and it didn't even save. I'm so mad. Unless I've got to do that one. You're not sorry whatsoever. Can you hear you on the, uh... I'm really not. I don't play video games. I don't watch video games. Did you... But, but can you hear yourself on the stream? Because I'm playing a game right now. You sh you should know a little bit. Oh, that's gonna that that's about to change. Wow. All I have to do is go to my games and app.
Cody, don't worry about it. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, let's see. No, let's get out of here. What are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? You don't wanna say anything before you, you, you might be on stream. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh, who? <laughs> Farm for unwanted children? <laughs> That's Marty McFly now. The rest of home. Rest home? No, it's way past their bedtime. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The farm for unwanted children. No, they've already received their quota for the month. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup the cycle? Farm of <laughs> <laughs> the orphanage. No, they've already got all the soup they can handle. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The Stay Sober Society. Yes, we do generally provide refreshments for the Stay Sober Society, but I'm afraid they may not be able to meet tonight. They haven't got a meeting space. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? You can meet in the park. No, that's no good. Too many of the members sleep in the park. I know a place where the Stay that's Sober so Society can meet. Oh? Where? Why do I have to keep doing this? You can meet over there in the jailhouse. I think they have an empty cell. No, the jailhouse has bad associations for some of the Stay Soberites. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? The Brown Residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. And the offer couldn't have come at a better moment. It's almost time for the meeting to begin. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit right, from my soup cycle? now let's see if we can do this. The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Oh, wait there! Harry! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No! Out of the question! Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house! What do we know about these people? They're sober. It says so right in the name. <laughs> well, okay. But a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the They're day. Sober. This meeting is sure They're to be too Einstein. noisy for him. He's hiding. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. You hear that? <laughs> yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible. But think of the Stay Sober Society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. But I promised Miss Strickland, 
it means so much to her. The answer is still no. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No, I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! You will instruct the members of the Society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, I'm, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now you worry too much, Emmett. Now all we gotta do is serve that subpoena, and we're off to build your rocket drill. And get my patent. Yeah, your, uh, patent. Hey, how you doing, Einie? Einie? It's short for Einstein. Einstein, of course! Because he was a patent officer just like you. Pitch the dog. Some dog. He belongs to you? No, he's your dog. Uh, typical uh, neighborhood stray. Theorize, Einstein. Can you theorize for me? It's because he does. Every damn day. Theorize, Einstein. Can you theorize for me? The fuck? How did I get over here so quick? What the hell, Matches? You, you got Kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here! Sorry, boss. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee, and he's very busy today. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> uh, never mind. How come you won't let the Stay Sober Society hold their meeting in the cellar of your soup kitchen? We got other plans for that cellar. And it don't necessarily involve staying sober. I guess you won't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. About Arthur McFly. Yeah. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Dip shit. So one more thing about that hat. You're testing my patience, boy. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. Don't mind if I do. All right, break time's over. Back to work. Isn't a soup kitchen an odd line of business for a guy like you? I like soup. Plus, I got a heart as big as all outdoors. Uh, buff a little harder. I want to see myself in the toes. 
Edna Strickland thinks your soup kitchen might not be on the up and up. That dame gets on my nerves. Got a great pair of gams, though. <laughs> I can't believe he said that. So one more thing about that hat. You're testing my patience, boy. Let's fuck over it. Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? I'm hanging on to my peanut ball. I sure could go for some peanuts. Lucky for you, I'm in a giving mood. Lucky for you, I'm in a giving mood. On second thought, I'm not hungry. God Quit wasting it. my time. Shine. The wrong one. I picked the wrong one. It's all your fault. So one more thing about that hat. You're testing my patience, boy. I'm testing a lot of your patience. I sure could go for some peanuts. Lucky for you, I'm in a you. giving mood. Why are you mumbling so much? Don't mind if I do. All right, break time's over. Back to work. Uh. So one more thing about that hat. You're testing I my got patience, one more thing boy. There. I got one more thing on the hat. I sure could go for some peanuts. Lucky for you, I'm in a giving mood. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! What'd you do? You lousy crook! Emmett! Emmett! Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! Yeah, you are a monkey. Al, fix me up. Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out. We got the hat. I guess this is where the speakeasy burned down. How'd Doc ever get mixed up in that? You gonna buy anything? Um, no. Then get out, huh? Hey, uh, can I get some moose? What does this look like? A hunting lodge? I don't think that would be interested in Arthur's hat. Why are you snorting? What you snorting? What'd you say? Oh, I should probably take the hat to the dog. Why are you dying? You're not dying. Hey, honey, come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy, can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Where is he going? Only one way to find out.
We're gonna go find my grandpa. Deja vu. Deja vu. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! Hey, Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We've got something for you. It's a sub uh, subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, right. Ha <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry, some other time. Try, don't give up, try again. I don't think that would be interested in Arthur's hat. I don't think that would be interested in Arthur's hat. Yeah, but Arthur would so oh my god. This dick. What now? I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. The fuck was that? What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. I have to hand the subpoena to Arthur, not throw it. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Well, then tell him he got Someone's the playing hat. tricks on me. No one's fucking playing any tricks on you, buddy. Now, let's give it a hint. What am I going to get from the town center? I don't think oh, that no, would I be interested in Arthur's it. hat. Ow! Already got something from the town center. The hat. This hat belongs to my grandfather. Tannin's not too bright. Maybe I could trick him into dragging Grandpa out in the open. How am I going to do that? I don't think that would be interested in Arthur's hat. You fucker. Oh, I just had to keep walking. Wow, retarded. God, here we go again. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared to go after him and go talk to him. He's gonna chase me. I know he is. He says he's gonna chase me. What I do, what I do, what I do. Jaywalking. And it's not too bright. Maybe I could trick him into dragging Grandpa out in the open. Yeah, thanks for telling me for this second. <laughs>
Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, Matches. Again, you fell for it, again. Come down from there, you son of a bitch! Right now! That's an order! I don't think they're in a talkative mood right now. Don't make me angry, Smucko! Get down here no and way. face the I music! too hard to get it. You can't get away that easy. Nobody puts this one over on Kitan and lives to tell about it. You're dead meat, twerp! Okay. Posing your epitaph now. I don't now, want to record them right now. I'm gonna carve it into your face. I don't want to record bullets, them right now. Get down here! What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! You're only making it worse for yourself. The longer you stay up there, the longer I'm gonna take a vacuum. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Come down from there, you son of a bitch! Right now! That's an order! Don't make me angry, Smucko! I don't want to record here them right and now. Face the music! I don't want to record them right now. You can't get away that, oh. that easy. Nobody this puts one over on my Kit and lives to tell about it. You're no dead way. meat, twerp! Too hard to get it. Better start composing your. The fuck do I do now? Now, cuz I'm gonna carve it into your face! I don't think in you're in bullets. a talkative mood right Get now. Get down here! Einstein! Help! Lay off! Get away Get from me, you crazy Get mutt! Go, go away, dog! We're busy here! Go on, scram! Hey! Where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot! I don't know, you retarded. I don't know, you retarded. Oh, are they standing back over? <laughs> I'm right here! Arthur's still where I left him. Oof. Psst, Doc! Marty! How goes the escape plan? Guess what? In order to free up your younger self to complete the rocket drill, I'm gonna have to serve my own grandfather with a subpoena. Great Scott! Actually, his name's Arthur. He's Kid Tannen's accountant. Marty, whatever you do, it's vitally important that you don't alter your grandfather's future in any meaningful way. The consequences... Could be catastrophic. I know, got it. Where have you been all this time? I missed you. I miss you too, Marty. But I thought it was important to let you live your own life for a while, free from the insanity of time travel. I gotta admit, it was nice to not have my family history blowing up in my face for a few months. Besides, I've been busy raising my own unpredictable teenagers. Why'd you wind up in jail in 1931 anyway? During my trip to the past, I decided to look into one of Hill Valley's unsolved mysteries. The fire at the speakeasy. Exactly! I thought I was safely hidden across the street. 
But when the fire started, there was a tremendous explosion, and I was knocked unconscious by a stray brick. When I woke up, I was here in jail, charged with arson. That's horrible. I know. Worse yet, I still don't know who started the fire. What's the story with this kid Tannen jerk, anyway? Biff's father? By this time next year, he'll be pulling down a life sentence in San Quentin. There was even a song about Wait, it. Wait, if Biff will be born in 1938, and Kid will be in prison... As I recall, he escaped from prison in 1937 for about three hours. That's a busy three hours. No kidding. <laughs> That's a... <laughs> what do you know about Edna Strickland? Edna? We never really socialized when I was younger. She was a few That's years a older than me, hours. and we traveled in different socioeconomic circles. Why do you ask? She thinks you're a hero for burning down that speakeasy. She's doing a story on you. A story? Oh, yes, now I remember. Ask Edna, the etiquette column that doubled as a pro-temperance soapbox. She believed that the consumption of alcohol would inevitably lead to a complete societal breakdown. Sounds like a fun gal. You should have seen her when the hippies started showing up in the 60s. She just somehow lost her mind. That would explain a lot. I know this really isn't the right time or place, but I found your notebook. Oh, so that's where I left it. Why'd you bring it here? Because the bank's selling off all your stuff. They can't do that. That's what I keep trying to tell them. Well... You hold on to it for safekeeping. We'll deal with my financial situation in 1986, after we saved me from a grisly death in 1931. Hang in there, Doc. Not the best Good choice Scott. of words, Marty. It's okay, sis. We'll get him this time. What now? What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's Kid! How do you not see right him? Right away, boss! Ah, <laughs> where's Kid? You've been Arthur served. McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Ordering you to <laughs> appear in court nothing. and provide evidence in the investigation into... Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Oh, Once sudden, you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But Kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats, what am I going to do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Are you sure this is going to work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Uh, 
Uh... Hey, mate! Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy, Moses! It's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction. I'll try to get rid of him. Tend to the... What? Can't we just start over after he's gone? Uh, it's too late. The reaction's already started. Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Emmett! Uh, coming, father! Father! Don't you father me, child! Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! There is a flame oh, inside Thank me you. that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father! No! What, what did you do? Emmett, who are you talking to in there? No one, father! All room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building. A good start. Just pay attention to what I say. Damn it! I'm not true with you yet! I'm... Oh, maybe your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine! This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel! Invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! Oops. If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? I don't know what's eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. You're going to find out. Stop being such a crank! Oh, maybe your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. Ah, halfway there! Damn it! Keep up the good work! There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father! Gobbledygook? Which may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Umbrons have been officers of the court since God's heavenly spark first gave rise to men, Emmett. Always bellowing at me. What will it take to light a fire under your unappreciative hindquarters? Maybe one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. No! I thought you were a scientist! Damn it! Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Your ancestors are spinning in their graves right now. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? You keep bellowing like that. Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? Don't burn your bridges so cavalierly, my son. 
Pressuring me to be something I'm not. What are they feeding you in that school of yours? No. Don't touch anything until I tell you to. Damn That was so close. Do you know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Mother, why don't you ever listen to me? Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Pressure! You're a child. You don't know anything about pressure. How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? Your mother and I are shocked at your behavior, young man. The hotter Shake. you get, the more I know I'm right. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Emmett! You said sh sh say. Stop getting so What's hot the... under the collar, Pop. <laughs> Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas! <laughs> Galileo's rotations! Do you ever listen to yourself? Trying to spin this argument around to my failings. A big hall room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building. A good start! This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel! Are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you said hot air. And if you do, hot air. Damn it! I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Father, why don't you ever listen to me? Flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook father. Do you really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? Why do you keep bellowing like that? Don't you go feed the ducks, father. What are they feeding you in that school of yours? You look like a s Almost there. Emmet! Uh, coming, father! Stop being such a crank! If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. <laughs> they come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. You're not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? I don't know what's eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. Oh, maybe your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. Fuck! Just pay attention to what I, I say. So Damn it! I was so close. I went to the wrong one. I'm sorry, sir. Please forgive me. Why are you always bellowing at me? I can't uh, uh, bullshit. You said bellowing. I thought you were a scientist. Damn it! I am a scientist, but what you're saying is not bellowing in my ears. One great thing ever generated by a lawyer. If you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me! Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? 
Why must you always scatter a condescension my way? What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! By Galileo's rotations, do you ever listen to yourself? Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas! Can't you see this is eating me up inside? We want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? Oh, you... Okay, so bellowing and vent are two... Okay. Don't touch so, anything until I tell you to. Damn air. it! Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? I don't know who invented fire pop. I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Pressuring me to be something I'm not. I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. Stop getting so hot under the collar, Pop. Do I get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another monologue? No idea what kind of pressure I'm under. One great thing ever generated by a lawyer. Oh, what use has a microorganism for long? By Galileo's rotations, do you ever listen to yourself? Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Uh, I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. Okay, you and your dad sounded... It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... No! Oh. What? Eureka! I now think all we gotta we do is fuel up the old rocket power drill, and you and, and I can. I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right, you've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Harry, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Oh, in about, I'd say. I can't. Huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Uh, someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. I'll get it back to you, I promise. And, Emmett... You're gonna be a great inventor. Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. Keep the throttle at about eight. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Come on, start. supposed to be... Duck! 
They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping. Oh, I better go get a quote from the police chief. Paddy wagon intercepted, suspect slain, and they're still after him. But how am I gonna rescue him now? There's no way Edna's bike is gonna be fast enough to catch up at that paddy wagon. Or is there? Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. I'm coming, Doc. Wait, my bike! No, you hooligan! 17 cent. Why are you so tired? Why are you so tired, me? Eh? Why are you so tired? Hi. Oh, eh? 17 cent a gallon. Marty! You're still in danger, Doc. I've got to get you out of here. What's that? I said you're still in danger. Never mind, never mind. Get me out of here and we'll talk later. Go, stay. Ficker. What's he doing here? Keys. The window shut tight. Why on earth would I want to whack that with a tire iron? Ah, oh, you figure. Would I want to whack that with a tire iron? You. Why on earth would I want to whack that with a tire iron? No good. The window shut.
How did he not see him? Oh my god. Let's, uh, let's throw the I don't think cap. throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Yeah, it would. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. God. Oh my god. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Alright, I ain't hint. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. The keys are on the dashboard, but I can't reach them. You need a protraction of pertinence! What? A reach extender! Kid Tannen's driving the truck! Kid Tannen? That explains a lot! I need a distraction! Leave it to me! Hey! Hey, driver! You're driving too fast! Watch how you take those curves! What are you trying to do? Kill me? I object to your tone of voice! And I find this seat distinctly uncomfortable! Do you have a pillow I can sit on? Hey! I'm talking to you, driver! Don't ignore me! You! Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the streak. How did you know that? I have my sources. Thing. Eat Sagan! Ow! Son of a bitch! We need something to get rid of these cops! Why couldn't your younger self have built us a hoverboard? They won't be invented for another 84 years! Ah, the throttle! Why? Oh! Fine. 
but I wonder what sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. Great Scott! I don't know. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. Copyrighted as soon as I upload this stuff. Why are you so tired? Why don't you go to bed? Can you believe it? You're actually talking to me over the Xbox? Why? Where are you going? What you doing? Where are you going? For what? What's Discord used for? Ooh, what kind of party? Uh, you know. Uh, oh, socializing. The thing that you're not good at. The thing you're not good at. You know, talking to people. Well, I mean, you're you're just a a girl version of me. That's all you are. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Bye. I said, "Love you." Bye.
sorry for all the talking, people. Um, I was talking to my uh, my beautiful sis, and um, right now I'm just playing this. Uh, I'll shut up, and you can just enjoy the show. What's happening? I don't know. Unless... Uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yeah. Local accountant beaten. Left for dead. Local accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're gonna kill my grandpa? Tannen's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's a time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born, and neither will you, unless... When did you last see your grandfather? <laughs> Four o'clock, in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving before the police find us. Freeze! Ah. Step out of the car with your hands up. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan, the speakeasy arsonist. A legend speakeasy arsonist, if you don't mind. What the heck kind of buggy is that? Stay back! It's a prototype, still untested, liable to blow up at any moment. Or suddenly take off without warning! Is that so? There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. What is it, some kind of foreign job? A German or something? Not at all. This is solid American workmanship. Now I'm sure something's back there. It's like something out of Buck Rogers. A year from now, everybody will be driving these babies. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a promotion in this. You're getting to be a valuable huh. commodity in Hill Valley. That's very gratifying to hear. I hope you don't mind cooling off a few minutes till reinforcements get here. I don't mind, but the car may have other ideas. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. I'd like to get a closer look at that getaway car. What's that? Off in those bushes. Huh? I didn't hear anything. I thought it was my henchman returning, but you're probably right. It was nothing. Henchman, you say? Hmm. There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Hmm. Hey! Stop! Doc! Go! Save your grandfather! I'll be fine until you get back! You got it, Doc. What was that?
455. Artie's gotta be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. There he is. All I gotta do is get to him before... Mr. Callahan! I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. My sources indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? My grandpa he needs me as a character witness to get a fishing license. Oh, well then. Carry on. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know. Sure, no problem. Ah! Ah! Oh, come on, yesterday, Marty. Stop talking and get moving. Einstein? Einstein, what is it, boy? Go away, boy! Crap! Einstein! Is it a squirrel, Einy? You want to play? Okay, let's play. What are you up to, Einy? Want the stick, boy? Want to chase it? I am not bonking myself on the head with a stick. Get into that courthouse and grab Artie before Tannen's guys. Ah! Ah! Hey! Oh, God. Um, hey! According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full-scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. Can you check over my work to make sure? Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to get to Arthur. Why? He might be headed for an accident. Arthur McFly may not be the most coordinated fellow around, but I'm sure he can walk up a flight of stairs. Come on. Shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict deadline, right? Sure. You start without me. Turn around and start walking and I'll... I'll catch up to you in just a few minutes. Huh? Oh, hell. Oh, my God! What the hell is that? What's what? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. No, I, I mean before, while I was walking towards you. I wasn't talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket drill. No, I mean after. Uh, never mind. Let's get going. Follow me. I thought I'd never leave. At least now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. You gotta come with me. Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Gran... Artie. Just promise me you'll stay at the police station until... Artie McFly. Just the guy we're looking for. Hey, fellas. Run! Get him!
Artie? Ah. I better pick up their trail before I start fading out again. Clear. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. Buddy, how's my favorite accountant doing? Oh, I've been better. I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. Trixie, take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. K.O., you boys play nice now. Mwah. Nice to see you again, Artie. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. Now scram. <sighs> Are you guys stupid? What are you thinking? Bringing this fish food to my doorstep. We just thought... That was your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Huh? Uh... Don't answer that. Look, just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. I think we can handle that. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I've got an arsonist to snuff out. And will one of you slobs start hauling these crates in? We're on it, kid. So far, so good. Ha! Huh. I, I better get in there quick. Contents. One winged goddess. Oops. Hmm. Nice fit. Here goes nothing. Get the crates, cue ball. Stir the soup, cue ball. Clean out the blood stains, cue ball. Shit. I'm not a gangster, I'm a freaking butler. Now, which one of you guys goes in first? Jeez, for a gal with no arms, you sure is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Ow! Do you mind? I'm trying to conduct a professional interrogation over here. Where should I put this? Just shove it behind the bar. I'll just shove you behind the bar. Mm. Come on, Artie. Jeez, how much chloroform did you put on that rag anyway? Why? Because I'm having a hard time bringing Sleeping Beauty here around. Uh, uh, Let me see. Uh, hey, Artie! We got a few questions about you and the DA. DA, day, D, E, D? You see what I'm working with here? Seems to be catching. Zane, wake up! Oh, sorry, boss. The stupid cold's got me wiped out. <laughs> well, try to stay awake long enough to finish that poster, will ya? We got a club to open in a few days. And turn off that sign, would ya? <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. I uh, think there's a way we could get Rip Van Winkle here talking in his sleep. Yeah, I sleep-talked once. 
That's how I ended up married to Mildred. Remind me to sleep slap you later tonight. Ooh, no wonder Artie's so out of it. I can't take that. Zane would know something's up. Oh, hey guys, I don't feel so. Zane, wake up, you lazy bum! It must have been the cold. Cold my eye. He's been dipping into the inventory. The inventory. One more on down, two to go. Shouldn't Kid be back by now? How long does it take to stroll next door and pop a jailbird? Didn't you hear? Change of plan. The only thing I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. The only thing I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. Seven, twenty-three, thirty. Hmm. A combination to a lock? Come on, Artie, wait. Ow! Aye, aye. What the? I think we blew a fuse. Well, go up to the soup kitchen and get a new one. Why me? You'd rather hang around and talk to this guy, huh? Three days are here again. Yeah, I'll just get that fuse. Wake up, sleepyhead. What do I spy with my little eye? Word games? Come on, Artie. Oh. Gotta get rid of these guys before Artie wakes up. Come on, Artie, wake up. You're sleeping your life away. Literally. Trixie Trotter, world-famous chanteuse. I never heard of her. Eggs over easy. And raisin toasts. <laughs> McFly! McFly! <sighs> Great. Hey, get me out of here! Keep your shirt on! I'm not sure I can promise that, madam. Wake up, sleepyhead. Again? Must have been a faulty fuse. Well, go get one that ain't so faulty. You know, some people know how to say please every now and then. Sleep tight, moron. He's a good artist, but he can't hold his chloroform. Wake up, sleepyhead. L. Kid. Sleep tight, moron. He's a good artist, but he can't hold his chloroform. Come on.
Hey, get me out of here! Wake up, sleepyhead. The only thing I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. Okay, this is getting freaking ridiculous. Freaking ridiculous! I'll open a fresh box of fuses. Yeah, you do that. Come on, Artie. Once is enough, I think. I'm sure he could explain it to me, but it's probably not a good idea to ask. Trying my patience, Audie. Dermot's Canadian whiskey. Bam! Right in the kisser. Uh, uh, hey, you! Wait, do I know you? Not for about 40 years. Is anyone Whoa. down there? Everything's spinning. Come on, Artie. Let's get out of here before these jerks get a chance to kill you. Wait a minute. They were gonna kill me? <sighs> Great. This isn't funny, guys. Is anyone down there? Perfect timing. Hang on, Grandpa. We've got a pickup to make. Need a lift? I thought you'd never ask. Ah, what's he doing here? It's a long story. Ah, oh, son of a... And then I carried Artie to the DeLorean and came back to get you. Fascinating. So we can go home now, right? Not yet. We still have this loose end to tie up. No, don't tie me up again. He's coming around. So please be careful. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. Do 
don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley, and I'm never coming back. No! Oh! He's got to hook up with Grandma. What's her name? Uh, it's Sylvia. Do you know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. It's vitally important that you two meet. Oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation. No, possibly. Yeah. Are you G-Man? Uh -huh. Something like that. Sure, anything for Uncle Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this Sylvia. But in the meantime, I'll lay low. Good man. When can I expect to see you again? That was a close call. You think it'll be okay? You're not fading out, are you? Besides, Arthur will be completely out of danger come August 25th. August 25th? That's the date Kid Tannen is finally put behind bars. How's that picture of your dad? Still there. Good. Let's get out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. Everything looks okay. Are you sure? See, McFly residence. So, want to come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. I'd love to, Marty, but... You've got to go, I understand, Doc. You've got a life to lead, kids to raise and all that. No, I've got to go to the bank and stop that estate sale you told me about. Oh, oh! You go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. See you soon, Doc. All right. Dad must have used that to haul away all those books from Doc's estate sale. Hey, anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. Please, not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. Another day? Dad, what are you talking about? Marty. No, that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. I've got a bad feeling about this. Run out of town? What are you talking about, Dad? Let me in. This is a trick. Go away. Leave us alone? Haven't we suffered enough? Mom. Get Dave and Linda. They left town years ago, which you would know if you really were Marty. How can I convince you? Tell me something only Marty would know. Ah. Uh. When I was eight, when I was eight years old, I set fire to the living room rug. That's right. Oh, my Lord. What are you waiting for, George? Let him in! Stupid locks. Marty! Oh my god, Dad! What, what happened to you? What do you think happened, butthead? Biff! I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp! Biff, whatever's going on, I'm sure we can handle it. Uh, reasonably. Who are they? Yeah, like you don't know Cliff and Riff. What do you think we should do with them, baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this, McFly. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm trying to process here. Where do these other tannins come from? From a mommy tannin and a daddy tannin. It's called the birds and the bugs, butthead. <clears throat> Biff. You better leave before my dad calls the cops. The cops? We own the cops. The tannin gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. We got connections all over the place. No way. You don't believe me? Biff, no! 
bang! <laughs> Check it out. To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. That's Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family in California. Ugh. I got a question. <laughs> Why are you guys so pissed at me? You don't remember? You've really lost it, McFly. Think back! The thing with the manure truck? Which one? Ooh. Tell me! <laughs> How long have you been coming down on my dad like this? Ever since that school dance, when Georgie laid Biff out in the parking lot! <laughs> Shut up, it's not funny. Someone messes with the Tannen family, the Tannen family never lets him forget about it. And another thing. <laughs> what are you guys doing here anyway? It's that time of the month. Time for Georgie to pay up. Well, we usually take the payment in cash. But this month, we can take it out of your hide. Ooh. Here's what I still don't understand. What about my mom? I mean, how did she end up with my dad? Beats us. Guess she has a thing for losers. She could have had anyone of us, but she went for old Gimpy McFly. Okay, but... Biff, what happened to you? When I left here, you were kind of afraid of my dad. Afraid? <laughs> <laughs> no Tannen ain't never been afraid of no McFly. <clears throat> Here's what I still don't understand. Why can't you pick on somebody else? We do! We pick on lots of guys. It's kind of our thing. And another thing. When did I get run out of town? Two years ago. Don't you remember? We made a deal that we'd go easier on your old man if you left. But now you're back, so the kid gloves can come off. Ooh. Hey! And another thing. Look, can't we bury the hatchet already? Even better idea. I bury this nine iron up your backside. One more question. What the hell did you do to my dad? Your dad's been in that wheelchair since before you were born, butthead. And you better hope he has a spare, cause you're gonna need one in like three seconds. Ugh. I was wondering. Don't. I was wondering. Don't. Let me ask. Shut it. Okay, tell me this. No more questions. A cake. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Huh? Kid? No one in Hill Valley messes with the Tannen family. Get in! This timeline's been compromised! No kidding! Now Somehow, we something we did in 1931 allowed Kid Tannen to escape his date with justice. As a consequence, the Tannins have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. 
Ah, jeez, they robbed the arcade. We've got to go back to the day Kid Tannen was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you could be forever stuck in a town owned by the Tannens. Not an option, Doc. Punch it. Okay, Doc, let's run through this again. Sometime tonight, Kid Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, a singer named Trixie Trotter. That hot babe I saw coming out of the speakeasy. Exactly. When she does, history says Tannen will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker? Parker? Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker, my girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of the Tannen crime family. You need to go back into Tannen speakeasy, find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Is the mustache really necessary? It's essential. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript? I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. I think this is it for the night, I'm gonna call it, and uh, see you in the morning, or whenever I can do this.